try and maximize on that. He knows it within the first 30 seconds. Oh, and what a knock! But Igna, Igna, there was, I was going to say. It, Kung Fu, an ancient and revered martial art with deep cultural roots in China, has long been admired for its complexity, elegance, and effectiveness. Despite its widespread popularity and significant historical influence, Kung Fu has not yet been included as an official sport in the Olympics. In this video, we will explore the reasons why the Olympics have not recognized Kung Fu as one of their competitive sports. One of the main reasons is its similarity to existing Olympic sports. In fact, in one of the regional international sports events in Asia, there is a sport called Wushu Sanda, which pits two Kung Fu fighters against each other. The footwork, stances, and agility of these fighters strongly embody the power of Kung Fu in a fluid motion. Powerful strikes in stand-up fighting and tight locks during ground grappling showcase the essence of Kung Fu. From these matches, we can see that Wushu Sanda shares similarities with kickboxing, taekwondo, and judo. Due to these similarities, the International Olympic Committee might have opted to avoid viewer fatigue by excluding Wushu, especially considering that this martial art has only recently gained popularity in the West. Following that, the second reason is that the Olympic program is already filled with a wide array of sports and there may be a desire to limit the number of events. This makes it even more challenging to include new sports like Wushu. Nevertheless, Wushu was given a unique opportunity to be showcased during the 2008 Beijing Olympics, where a separate Wushu tournament was held parallel to the main Olympic events. This was the first time the IOC allowed such an event, acknowledging the cultural significance of Wushu in China. However, despite this breakthrough, Wushu was not included in the main Olympic program for subsequent games. If Kung Fu were to be included in the Olympics in the future, it would undoubtedly provide an exciting spectacle. Take, for example, the Afghan Kung Fu master, Esan Shafiq. At the age of seven, Esan began learning Shaolin Kung Fu from his older brother, Wahidullah Shafiq, who is known as the father of Kung Fu in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Over time, Esan eventually established his own Kung Fu school in London. Throughout his journey, he participated in various martial arts competitions, including Kung Fu, Karate, Taekwondo, Kickboxing, Sanda, and many more. One of his most memorable fights was when he faced a Taekwondo fighter named Najib. At first glance, the competition seemed like a choreographed performance for Shafiq. Just watch how he opens the duel with a powerful sweep that sends his opponent to the ground. Or when Shafiq delivers a kick while avoiding an unexpected attack like this. With that kicking technique, Shafiq impressively ended the fight. When Najib unleashed a spinning kick in true Taekwondo style, Shafiq quickly countered with a spinning kick of his own, executed while dodging the attack.
Shafiq has also demonstrated equally astonishing techniques in his encounters with other Taekwondo fighters. He begins with a high leap, and then, unexpectedly, this Kung Fu master attacks by using both of his feet in a move that almost clamps down on his opponent's head. Shafiq even finishes off his opponent by executing this technique from an even more challenging position, showcasing his exceptional skill and agility. Kung Fu, a term that refers to Chinese martial arts, encompasses a wide range of styles and techniques. Known for its fluid movements, powerful strikes, and intricate forms, Kung Fu combines agility, strength, and precision. It also emphasizes adaptability and versatility, allowing practitioners to navigate various combat scenarios effectively. <laughs> If Kung Fu were to be included in the Olympics and allowed to compete against other martial arts styles, it would undoubtedly create a thrilling competition. Take for example a match between Kung Fu and Taekwondo. The Kung Fu fighter moves as if intoxicated, utilizing the drunken Kung Fu style. Meanwhile, the Taekwondo fighter sticks to his aggressive and full contact approach. Their battle repeatedly draws gasps of admiration from the audience. The climax occurs when the Taekwondo fighter lands a devastating kick to the face of the Kung Fu practitioner, leaving the crowd in awe. Kung Fu is one of the oldest and most renowned forms of martial arts in the world. Originating from China, this martial art has a long history that involves various styles and disciplines. In addition to the drunken Kung Fu mentioned earlier, there is a rich diversity of styles, such as Tai Chi, Wing Chun, and Shaolin. Kung Fu is a term broadly used to describe martial arts in China, encompassing a wide range of styles that have evolved over more than 3,000 years. Each style of Kung Fu has its own distinct characteristics, reflecting the unique culture, environment, and philosophy of its region of origin. These styles range from those emphasizing strength and endurance to those focusing on flexibility and speed. Kung Fu offers a broad spectrum of martial arts techniques and strategies. Bruce Lee is not one of them. <laughs> Kung Fu practitioners undergo rigorous training that includes not only physical exercises, but also meditation and breathing techniques. These practices are aimed at developing inner strength and balance. Various styles within Kung Fu such as Shaolin, Wushu, and Tai Chi, each possess unique movements, forms, and weapons, making Kung Fu a comprehensive system of self-defense. As you can see, just cut the brothers, don't mean they won't die each other. Kung Fu, with its various styles, continues to adapt and evolve to meet the needs of the times. This martial art offers a unique approach to self-defense, embodying the deep cultural and philosophical values of ancient China. Its influence on the world of modern martial arts is undeniable, as evidenced by the many fighters who have backgrounds in this discipline. Kung Fu is also renowned for its diverse techniques including strikes, kicks, grappling, and joint locks. This diversity makes Kung Fu highly adaptable to various combat situations. The striking and kicking techniques in Kung Fu range from quick and light to powerful and devastating. So that's an overview of why Kung Fu has not yet been included in the Olympics.